Hey YouTube, this is Random 379 and I'll be starting a new series. This will be for Total War Shogun 2, and this will be for the new DLC, Rise of the Samurai. This is basically a mod of the game, except you have to pay a bit for it, which is okay because I've played it a tiny bit and it's been very entertaining, very different. And so that you can see there are now three families, the Minamoto, the Taira, and the Fujiwara. We were playing as the Fujiwara, or there's the Kubuta Fujiwara. You can see that every clan has bonuses. See, this one is actually easily the strongest one. See, 20% movement speed, um, extra, and minus one recruitment time for samurai units, and extra um, research for warfare arts, things like that. But we'll be playing as the noble Fujiwara. Hard difficulty, short campaign, no help. No drop in battles. Let's start the game. Yes, the Fujiwara are a very noble clan. They did have power, but then they got exiled by the um, the Taira. And the clan emblem is a wolf, the clan animal. And yeah, so this game is set in the Genpai War. This mod is set in the Genpai War, which was in the late tw uh, 12th century, yep. So, in Japan once again. So, I'll show you this opening video because I think it's actually quite a good video. It's pretty. Yeah, well done, video. So, I'll shut up for now, let you watch the video. Turn the volume up. The Sengoku Jidai was a time of war, but those who say Japan has never seen the like have short memories. Long before the Ashera Shogunate, 400 years of peace was shattered by the Genpei War. Amateras, the sun goddess, watched over the emperors of Japan and gave them power. Their authority was absolute. An emperor could retire from the war and still have complete mastery over Japan. But now, imperial might is crumbling, weakened by three noble families. For many years, the Taira have secretly controlled the imperial court. Bastards. Sophisticated, cunning. Ruthless and bastards. They plot against any challengers to their hidden power. The Minamoto are proud warriors. Their pleasure is battle. That and the destruction of their enemies. The Fujiwara were once the most powerful. There's a reference to Okami here, I reckon. See the wolf there in the constellation? And they mentioned Amaterasu before. After years Just a little planning, thing I noted. Could just be a coincidence. To make their move. The Miyamoto intend to block with all their might. Meanwhile, the Fujiwara watch and wait. Perhaps this moment is a chance to right wrongs. The Imperial Peace is at an end. War oh, is coming. And, and blood will, will flow. So come to total war. Rise of the Samurai. So let's get this campaign started. I'll let you watch the little video here at the beginning as well. And you can see the new graphics are really improved as well. We were the most influential family in all our power and authority were feared and coveted in equal measures. But then, we were vanquished by the tyrant through violence and political intrigue. The bastards! Now, we live in exile to the north, while lesser men exercise authority in our stead. 
the tyrant's treachery knows no bounds, and they have made other enemies than Namdukla, all but destroyed, arriving once more to exact vengeance. It will not be long before the two come to blows, so let them butcher one another. Then we will make our triumphant return to Kyoto. The Fujiwara Regency will be restored. Okay, so here we go. There are lots of new changes in this game. That's what we've done. Lots of changes in this game. So, see so there's new buildings, new units, new agents, new factions, uh, some new systems to trade agreement and the Northern friends. There is much to discuss for our mutual benefit. This time. Okay. Yeah, so you always want to start out with some diplomacy when you start a campaign. You see, and you see this clan here? They are have allegiance to the Tiber, whereas all these other ones have allegiance to me. Well, this is my other family, so there are two. This is my other family. Yeah, so basically, we're one clan. One family, two clans. And, yeah, so they have allegiance to the Tiber, our enemies. So we'll have to attack them. This will be our first enemy, and they are down here. And, 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 and. and. Yeah, so we'll start recruiting some troops down here. Some bow levy, some magnata levy. Probably don't need to recruit that many yet. Save some money for the time being. Yeah, so the monk unit is basically the same as the monk agent. And this. Jun Satsushi. It's a bit like a Mitsuke, except it also spreads influence. And there's also two different types of farms now. So you can get the normal farm, which is, which is just like in the original Shogun 2. But you can see there's pastures here which allows you to recruit cavalry. Then you don't get as much food. This province will get that farm, this province will get the other farm. You can't afford it right now. Okay, so that about does it for this turn, so end of the turn. Yep, so it's my turn again now. And you can see there's got a mission now to obtain the allegiance of any province. So I will try to obtain the allegiance of this province over here. So Armies in the way. Demoralize them, which is good. Just trying to get some experience with my monk. And yes, that'll be it. Did I click that before? I just forget. Must have done it automatically or something. Oh no, I think I did. And what should we get? Get some better farms. Get some bushy training grounds. And then we'll end the turn. Okay, so we've researched Budo now, and we can move on to Koryu. I'll try to demoralize this army once again. I did it once again, so now our monk will move up a level. Not monk, sorry, I should stop calling him monk. This is a different mod, basically, that Su. Retainer. Reduce action costs. Sounds good. Yes, we're going to try and take this province with our army. We'll get, we'll get a must. Yeah, so also two new buildings the must field and the town watch. Town watch. Um, Yes. Oops. How do I get that? Yes, yeah, so you can see there. It says plus five repression. Then you only have plus one recruitment capacity. You have plus two recruitment capacity. Then only plus four repression. So if you're trying to train troops, get a muster field. If 
if you're trying to um, yeah, repress rebelling people in your province, get a town watch. Don't think that um, repression is a problem here. Or repression. You know what I mean. No people are revolting. And yes, we will end the turn once again. It's now winter. The season of peace. Pretty intimidating army there, which is good. It will move down. Be declaring war on the faction soon enough. So might as well just declare war now. That worked out. Tomorrow that's down once again. <coughs> so that's working out, so we might even get to the next level soon enough. Now we'll pass this region for allegiance. Rank once again, which is good. I think we'll save up for these. So we won't spend anything yet. Quest allegiance. They pledged their allegiance. None can deny that ours is a noble cause. We have secured the allegiance of this province and those who swore to defend it. So that is good. Now let's see if these other provinces have their allegiance set all to the Minamoto. Let's do something about that. We can still trade with them. Don't leave them any money. The stingy bastard. Welcome. I'm here. Welcome. Okay. Yeah, so this province is actually mine now. Build dry field. Actually recruit some cav no. Right, recruit any cavalry here. And just get a some troops here. Just for a quick garrison. Hmm. And that will be it for this turn. Yes. Okay, forms of the earth. Which province is province Itachi? We will try to get their allegiance. And also there's a new art here, which I'm trying to get now. It's Way of the Bow, plus 50% ammunition and enables fire arrows. So in the original Shogun, that was split in between Heaven and Earth and Way of the Bow. Now it's just in Way of the Bow to get both of those upgrades. Which oh, makes it a very strong bastard. Oh, oh, I think they will. Probably will. So we'll move these troops down here. Well, if you hadn't noticed, yeah, I already said hard difficulty. Military port or harbour? We'll go harbour. Or oh, we can recruit. So we'll go military port. I should probably be getting some of these guys to move down and help my army, but I'll wait for a bit. Don't need reinforcements just yet. It's a pretty big army. And guess what? Ooh, not yet. Yes, we're ending the turn once again. Yep, so it's my turn again, and it seems like they actually managed to defeat the enemy army. Well, not 
the enemy managed to defeat my family's army. It was poor form by my family. They should be ashamed of themselves. And yeah, so you can see everything has new upgrades and as well. Like these roads do different things now. I can get a muster field here. soon. Get some more troops. Oh, this is interesting. The Minamoto have declared war on me. Just like that. So it's not very nice of them. That, I thought that was going to happen a lot later. But obviously, they want to destroy me now. Get rid of me. That will never happen. The Tyra tried. They failed. Minamoto will I try. And they will fail as well. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to ooh, some increased rank. So we'll make him duelist. And he can spread influence better. I'll try and get peace with the Minamoto. I'm not sure why they want it. Pink carefully. Even give them a hostage. My sword is ready to take your head. As if they don't want peace. Okay, no. No, no, no. Time. They'll warn me pretty soon. Yeah, so Minamoto are a pretty big clan. They have wow. quite a lot of other factions. Me to do that. Wow. They've got quite a lot of other factions taking their allegiance to them. But hopefully we'll be able to take this province now. of Aizu Wakamatsu 1176 Yep, so you can see, set up my troops here the general formation and you can see the troops actually resemble um, See, I remember now that in the original Shogun Total War there were different time periods you could play and the troops were very well, things, etc. Everything would be different so this is actually reminiscent of that bit because you can see everything is spread out more widely and you can't change that option. In fact these troops have no other abilities apart from guard mode. And you see the general units now have bows, which is interesting. Our general is in grave danger my lord they going to fight upon Ooh. Ah that could be a problem. Run away Yes, they only managed to just come up right behind me. Which is a bit annoying. So I have to try and do some sneaky maneuvers to get out of their range. So basically, I try to destroy this unit as fast as possible. General. Faster. Okay. Watch his general die. Ow. 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 
painful. Very painful. Note to self, do not put general in range of enemy archers. Yeah, so I could already tell that because I played this DLC a bit, they've also released a huge patch of the original Shogun 2, and they've improved the claim play drastically, so they've improved the AI as well. So we've managed to route the general there, which is a bit counter to what I was saying, but it's okay. Cool. Now we try to outflank the enemy up here. In the meantime, the general was actually firing the troops in. And we'll skip to a more interesting part of battle, I think. So you can see we're advancing here with our troops, and we're trying to outflank the enemy down the hill. Then they seem to just be happy with leaving the arc units to die. So it seems like the AI is still needing a few fixes. Battles. Oh, but my men want to route for some reason. Oh my god. That is extremely confusing and strange. Maybe it was the hill. Maybe it was the archers. Hopefully they'll come back from routing. Well, this is going well. Not. Seems I was a bit ambitious. I still have all my arch units. I've got my men at skirmish mode. Those guys are just not route, which is a good sign. But they're not routing either, which is also a good sign. Yes, yeah, so I might have this battle eventually now. Yeah, so. Finally managed to win it, even though it didn't look like I was going to. So my troops routed, but some of them came back and I could slaughter the enemy. But I still lost a lot of troops, it's not good. Okay, so I'll just skip to the end of the video. You can see it was a close victory. He lost 526 men, I lost 381. And we can't... Oh, yes we can. Great. We can't. It's going to be a tough battle to win. We'll just wait it out, even though I would be forced attrition. Hopefully my ally will back me up. Hopefully. Some roads. And I think we'll start getting some reinforcements soon. Yeah, so we will be ending the video soon, but we will try
try and conquer that province first. Yep, so we've got Wave Bow now, which will help in on it, starting it out. So I'm starting to research Wave Bow now. Yeah, it's still not in my favour. I'm pretty bad at fighting out of those battles. So I don't think I will. And might have to leave it to the next part of this video. We'll get some samurai, get them to reinforce. So I'll just siege them until they're forced to attack me and I'll try and defeat them. So we'll end this part now. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for my next part. I'll try and make this series go well. A lot better than my Tokugawa series, hopefully. That is very easily done. I think I'm already doing that now. And yeah, so thanks for watching and stay tuned for my next part.